Hey everybody, so here we are, continuing on with my desire to become a private pilot. Uh, I'm going to do a little format change here. I'm no longer going to uh, give you guys the entire really long videos. No one was watching them. Sometimes not even myself. I mean, I would always go back and I would just skip right to the point I wanted to see. And so I'm going to start doing that. I'm going to cut these down, make them nice and short, and uh, just talk to the interesting parts. So here we go. Alright, so here we go. That's a runway in front of us. On the floor. My CFI just got his airplane back after it had been uh, out of action due to a prop strike to someone who had loaned it. And so this was the first time that I've actually flown it since then. It actually flies much better. Alright, 40. Oh yeah, she's nice and smooth. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> yeah, you only spent a couple dollars on it. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's sweet. Alright, and pitch for 80. So after we took off, we flew out over a local casino that's being built. It's kind of cool to see this big site under construction from the air. And then flew out over the lake and over my house and just kind of loitered around in the airspace for a little while, just kind of getting my, uh, getting my wings back under me and remembering how to do all the things. I love flying out here. It is just so beautiful. It's one of those things where, you know, every time you go up, you see something different, and it's just gorgeous. The mountains, the trees, the lakes. It's, it's just a wonderful area to learn how to fly. Uh, it's very inspiring. I highly recommend it. After chatting and just generally playing around in the sky, we headed back towards the airport, and I lined up for my first landing in months. And I gotta be honest with you, it was sloppy. You can do as much as you want, or if you just wanna do one landing and like spend your money when you get back. We can do whatever we want, yeah. I'd I mean, it's up to you. Time is really my big factor here. All right, pull the power off a little bit, waiting for us to slow down into the light arc. I'm sure you'll be happy to take my money, right? Oh yeah, heck yeah. yeah. <laughs> that wasn't fun. That's good of you. It's good of you. I appreciate that. Oh, not for me, for my place. Yeah, no, I get it. Alright. Brady? Alright. Western Carolina, Cephas 086, entering base for runway 26, Western Carolina. I don't remember base. At this point, this is the first time I've landed an airplane now in three months. And my, you know, if you watch my previous videos, my landings weren't perfect to begin with. And it's a perishable skill. It's definitely something that I needed to spend more time in the cockpit doing. And that time away was not really good for my learning. So I do have some catching up to do. And that became really amazingly apparent in this landing when I think an incredibly valuable lesson was learned. I got low to the ground, I was not in control, the plane was ahead of me, which is never a good place to be, and I knew immediately that I need to go around, and so I made that decision. Well, I've never done that before, and so I didn't realize that raising the flaps was a bad idea, and thankfully, my CFI was there to keep me from killing us, or at least ruining the plane. Oh, power off, Jesus. There you go. You don't want to dive it because then you speak up on speed. All right. Uh, we're really high. Oh, you're right on the glide. Well, you're a little bit. Uh, a little high. Yeah. We're just on it. All right. This will be a little bit of a late landing. That's all right. That statement followed by everything else to come really led me to believe, you know what, this is wrong, I'm screwing this up, I gotta go around, this is, this is all wrong. Oh, there you go, nose up, nose up, nose up. Uh, I'm gonna go around, going around. That goes down, no flaps, no, no, I was waiting no, for flaps. Just what, no way to get going. Okay. Our letter heat, our letter heat on, all right. Did you get, you know, there you go, now you got a positive right. Okay, now you start bringing your flaps up, got it. Are you sinking? Oh, wow, well, you sink big time when you raise the flaps. Okay. Yeah. So raise them slowly. Yeah. Western Carolina, this is area six going around. <laughs> All right. I didn't feel that was good, so I just wanted to port that landing entirely and go around. Remember, power. Arbiter eight. Okay. 
once you get stabilized and everything and a climb, then you can start bringing your flaps up. Okay, so don't don't rush the flaps up your pole. Then you're going to lose lift. That makes perfect sense. I mean, yeah, i got to think that through. All right, 80, 80, let's get up here. And it does. It makes absolute perfect sense. And, you know, even sitting here now, I, I can't believe I didn't think that through. Of course, you know, it's real easy to, uh, you know, hindsight, right? 2020. Well, thankfully, he was sitting there, you know, was easily, you know, he was calm and, and made sure that I didn't do the wrong thing. And I really appreciate it. Thanks, Andy. Uh, le valuable lesson learned. And I won't make that mistake ever again. Thankfully, I think my next landing or second landing of the trip uh, was a little better. Uh, still nowhere near as good as my landings that I've done in the past, uh, but yeah, I did bring the plane down. We walked away, so I guess that's good enough. No, no power, no power. You don't need power. Hold it, just hold it. There you go. <laughs> Good times. Get back over on the runway here. And of course, as a beginner, I still am over controlling the airplane, and that's something that I just need to get used to, and, and I will. Uh, having a great time. This is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, guys.